Good morning. We are just about to the lake. Getting a, a little bit of a later start than I would like, but had to run an errand for my wife this morning, so got that taken care of, and now we're about five minutes away from the boat ramp. Uh, sun's starting to come up. It's supposed to be a hot one today, like 94 degrees, something like that. Not much wind, so gonna be warm out there. But it's July in Kansas, so what do you do? You, you deal with it. That's that's what I do, anyways. That's what I have to do. If I want to go anyways, otherwise, I just have to sit home in the air conditioner and complain about the heat like everybody else does. Hopefully, it maybe keeps some people inside. The bad thing is the people that will keep inside are the other fishermen. The people that just going to get outside are the people who are going to be out here ripping around in jet skis and wake boats and everything else that makes it not fun to run around the lake. But, oh well. Gotta deal with that too. Summertime. Everybody wants to be out playing. But, I don't know. Hopefully we can uh, get some good ones to bite. Last time I was out here, I caught some good largemouth and smallmouth. I missed several good smallmouth. Or I didn't miss them. They missed me. They missed my top water. So, hopefully I can get them to come back and they'll, uh, they'll connect this time. Yeah. Uh, got a little bit of a plan for some of these. I missed some good fish on the docks that were largemouth, I'm sure. I got a little bit of a plan for them, too. So, I think, you know, every time you think you got a good plan, the fish prove you otherwise. So, we'll see. But, we're going to get out there. Hopefully, we'll be catching fish. So, we'll see you on the water. How did you do that? That was a five pound explosion from a 10 inch fish. I didn't even think I had caught up to the fish yet. It was a heck of an explosion. I don't know what the largemouth are doing up here in my smallmouth spot. I guess I shouldn't complain, at least I'm getting bites. A little bit of fish.
you're not that big, buddy. I appreciate you. And that's what I appreciate about you. Good gosh. It's like you think you're a smallmouth or something. when you make a cast and you're looking at the water, looking at your bait, and you think, man, that just looks right. And then the fish just slams it. I mean, he's not that small either, I guess. Ooh, you are doing work on that middle hook. saying every time I need new pliers because these ones are all bent out of shape we don't grab hooks very well anymore gosh that's a pretty fish water really got clear out here so the colors are great right now probably go over three Just barely. 305. First Molly of the morning is a three pounder. I will take it. Picture time. I mean, that little sucker right there about put me in the water. <sighs> I didn't even think it had that much line out. Let's not do that again. I wasn't expecting you. I don't think you're what blew up on my bait, but you're not a bad one. And I will not complain. Thank you, sir. Hitting at it like a large mouth. Definitely in a large mouth spot.
large mouth. Got it. Well, it's just sitting there. It's not that big. He's just so far out there. Tearing the front hook up. Glad I came straight over here instead of messing with them docks anymore. I'll go fish the docks, but yeah, he's not a giant, but he ain't bad either. You don't have to worry. Old gravel lizard. Chased it up from underneath the dock when I reeled in. I let it go back down, spun around and got it. the people at home. Okay, now you can come off. No? Oh, you're gonna growl at me, huh? Did it hook you that good, really? like a good idea at the time. I don't know, I hadn't caught anything that bought real good for a little while, so. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Gar fights good, right? Thank you.
hammering on some dinks for a while. Seen a couple good ones follow them in. Lost a couple good ones. Finally put one in the boat. Skinny, but it's summertime. You guys do back here but you like it I like catching you so